I thought I'd make another short video to show you um, that the WBR regen, at least the way I built it, it's pretty stable. You know what? One thing that's nice about not using variable capacitors and, and using just a small, smallish toroid um, is that just using a Veracta tuned toroid. Um, it's great because all the frequency sensitive components are mounted with very short leads, uh, stiff, short stiff leads to the board, close to the board, and then the tuning control is just connected, it's just DC voltages controlled by a potentiometer, and that really does help uh, in making it stable. I mean, let's, uh, hang on, let's find a signal here. Uh, let's see, hang on. Don't, e don't even know what I'm looking for here. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, here we go. This will do. The set's well into oscillation now. That's some kind of data noise. And let me just move the set around. Watch this. I mean, it will shift in frequency a bit, but not a whole lot. Watch as I tap the set. Not bad for a homebrew, for a homebrew rig, eh? I mean, it does move a bit, but not much. A tad, I mean. But I don't think that's bad at all. And although I haven't measured it, the long-term drift seems fairly good too. Oh, yikes, that's loud. Let's take it out of oscillation. Okay, well, there you go. That's just a little, uh, little thing to illustrate that it's actually pretty solid. You know, people who tell you that regens are terribly... Uh, you know, unstable and, well, you know, it depends on, I guess, the design and also how you physically build it. The physical construction of regens is particularly important. There we go. That's it.